Thank you for joining me, folks. This is Zombie Moses with Mount and Blade Warband. Today, I wanted to go ahead and show people how to do the Rescue or Ransom a Prisoner quest. Uh, seems like at some point, at least, uh, a lot of people were having trouble doing this, and like most quests in Mountain Blade Warband, it does sort of leave you to your own devices to figure out the best practices for this. So I'll do the best I can today to explain how to do it the easy way and how to do it the hard way. Both of these are probably a bit more straightforward than sieging the place and taking it over. I'll, I'll explain. So first you have to get the quest. Um, if you notice that any lords have been taken prisoner by a certain faction, uh, all you have to do is go to that lord's faction's towns and talk to tavern keepers, eventually one will tell you that that some person, the, sorry, a family member of that prisoner will give you a quest to rescue them. Unfortunately, lords that don't have family members, you can't get a quest to rescue them. You can still go rescue them on your own, though. Just a great thing about Mountain Blade, everything actually happens and doesn't just exist when you get a quest for it. So, I have got my quest from Count Deglon. Uh, he wants me to rescue his son, Count Ray Fark. I think that was, if I remember correctly. Good lord, this guy's a big family. Yes, so Count Deglon is his father. So, he is held. Wow. He is held at Curran Castle, which is owned by the Nords. So, this is the easiest way to find where you're going. Just go ahead and hit show on map. The camera will fly ponderously over to it. So, it's right there. I. Somewhere. Doesn't matter. So, you head over there. In the meantime, I'll explain the mechanics. So, the easy way is to go to the nearby village, which is Quine, or Quinn. And uh, if, you, if you don't know which village belongs to a particular castle, it's not too hard to find that out. For Curran Castle, its village is Quinn. Uh, towns have the same sort of listing, but they'll usually have three or four villages associated with them. Any of them works. So, you'll first go to Quinn and talk to the village elder. So, upon reaching Quinn, go ahead and go to the village center. There he is. Talk to the village elder. Now, when you talk to these guys, you can tell them, I need you to set a large fire on the outskirts of this village. A fire, my lady! These fires are dangerous! Why would you want such a thing? So, uh, telling them what you're doing makes no difference. Um, however, if you have a good relation with the village elder, they will do what you ask for less money. Uh, I have zero relations, so I'm probably going to have to pay 300 Oh. There you go, I only had to pay 200 Um, this can differ. I think that it's RNG, but... Well, lots of things in this game are just hidden behind ambiguous mechanics that you kind of have to figure out. Uh, it makes it a nice simulation. Uh, anyway, so you can tell them to do it whenever, or you can tell them to do it at the stroke of midnight. Now the reason for this is it is generally easier to sneak into towns and castles at night. Um, it also helps to have a smaller party size. Uh, that's a bit harder to pull off if you don't have a castle and whatever. Point is, I don't care. Uh, I'm just going to tell them to start it in one hour. Because 
it'll do its job either way. So, now, as you can see, the fire started. If I go to Curran Castle, I actually succeeded to sneak in. That's nice. I don't have to segue. Now, you take a walk around the courtyard. Now, if you'll notice, I'm looking around for guards here. Actually, I can't really tell how many are here. I just see the one. Oftentimes, if you lie a fire, it'll look like there's still a lot of guys around the castle, and there are. Um, but for this step, it doesn't really matter. What you need to do, any, at any rate, is find the prison guard. Um, they'll usually be not too far from the castle entrance. They'll be standing right next to the prison door. So, when you talk to this guy, they're not going to let you into the prison. Um, but, if you say, come on now, I thought you were the boss, you can demand they give you the keys, after which you'll beat them into a pulp as quickly as possible and then enter the prison without delay. You can give them 100 dinars. All that lets you do is get into the prison. You can't break the lord out that way, but you can talk to them. Um, you know, whatever. It doesn't help you for this quest, so I don't usually bother doing this even if I don't have the quest. Anyway, because I just like beating them. Now, as soon as he is down, you'll notice you got keys of dungeon. Enter the dungeon. Don't fight anyone else. It's a waste of time, and you're probably going to be defeated in freaking rags with a staff. And always take a good look around just to make sure you're not missing anyone. Um, you can break multiple lords out at once. I would highly recommend doing that. Um, it actually makes it easier. So here is our lord. You talk to him. I've come to get you out of here. Thank the heavens! I don't know how long I could have lasted in here. But wait, how will we escape? We'll be rushed by the garrison the moment we step out that door. I can help you hold them off, but I'll tell you now. They fed me nothing but watery porridge and a few scraps. I'm not as strong as I could be. Well, you're going to tell them to keep well behind you. If you tell them to help you fight, uh, they're probably just going to get their ass handed to them, and you're going to fail this quest. So, do this. They'll stand right next to the prison door the whole time and hold their ground, which is the safest option. Now, the nice part about this is when you get outside, you're no longer going to be disguised and using a staff. You'll actually be using the gear that you had on you when you approached the castle, which makes this next step a whole lot easier. At any rate, when you do this, I highly recommend having both a melee weapon and a shield and a ranged weapon of some kind, because you'll have to deal with both archers and foot soldiers, and it's just a lot easier to take out the archers without running all the way over to them. And the foot soldiers will come to you. So, it's a time saving measure in all regards. Now, if I could just find the one guy. See, this is what happens when you light a fire. There's basically no one guarding the castle. There's usually one or two guys. It might be kind of hard to find where they are if it's a big castle. Should probably keep out my melee weapon in case they're. Lurking around a corner. The hell is this guy? Do I have to put a bell on him? Jesus. I don't see any movement. Well, I guess I'll. <laughs> I'll just cut this point. What the hell? Oh. No, I didn't expect that to hit him. Would've been cool though. Alright, here we go. Just a lonely, brave Nord footman. Sorry, bro. Had to do it. And there you go. He is rescued. That was the easy way. 
I'll give you a look at the hard way here in a sec. So, as before, there's a villager Quinn. We're going to completely ignore it this time. We're just going to go balls to the wall. Somehow I still managed to get in disguised in broad daylight with a huge party of soldiers outside. Well, the Nords may be really good fighters, but they don't appear to be very bright. Now, this time around, you'll notice that there are a lot more guys. There's arrows flying in from every which way. Try to uh, mitigate the fire you're taking. Let's see if I can get a shot at this guy. No. Alright. I'm going to play it safe. Take them out one at a time. As long as you keep moving, archers won't generally be able to hit you. Probably shouldn't approach any corridors with a ranged weapon drawn. Alright. So, now it's just this one archer who can see us. one. Now you'll notice that the foot soldiers are getting ready to attack my lord down there and I don't like that. Not one bit. You need to make sure that they stay safe. Um, we're good for now I think. I don't, I don't think they managed to get to him yet. But uh, they'll, they'll start getting to him. You need to keep them safe. Ooh, that was close. Oh, hello. Morning stars are fantastic, by the way. Occasionally you'll just straight up beat them down, even though they were blocking. It's not really fair, actually. These guys didn't stand a chance. Oh, might be a couple guys left somewhere. Let's see, where is this other guy? Oh. Damn, that would have been a good shot. Come on, you fucker. Oh, this is just sad. Huh, well, I hit a shield. <sighs> really? Okay. Let's put an end to this. And there you have it. I like doing it the hard way, because... Honestly, you just get more experience that way, and it's not too hard. Just have to do it with a good amount of strategy. Now you'll notice, look at all that relation. Basically, everyone they know, people who like people being rescued, the leader of the faction, the faction itself, and you get honor. And the dude you rescue will love you for this. This is the easiest way to gain relation with any lord, is to rescue them. And uh, the nice thing is... This activity doesn't piss off the faction that you are rescuing them from, for whatever reason. Uh, apparently, they don't care if you take prisoners back from them. Uh, so, kind of broken, uh, it, especially if you figure out how to do it this easily. Uh, and I would highly recommend doing it at every available opportunity. I mean, if you're a mercenary without a kingdom, this is even easier, and I'll explain why. If you're a neutral mercenary, and you haven't been hired by a faction, you have free reign to enter any castle you want. The guards won't stop you. So once you get in the castle, you'll actually be wielding the weapons that you're carrying, 
and then when you attack the prison guard, you are actually well equipped, and if you wanted to, you could turn around, kill everyone in the castle, talk to the prisoner, rescue them, then kill everyone in the castle again. This is a pretty good way to gain a lot of experience and upgrade your weapon proficiencies, so it's a great thing to do if you're a neutral mercenary, or a bandit, or a traitor, whatever. As long as you're not affiliated with a faction, they'll let you walk right in, no matter how many times you do it. So, honestly, that's all there is to it. Uh, I'll be making more videos about Mountain Blade quests. See you next time.